Hi guys and welcome back to another edition of Ask Diamond. You guys have probably been wondering where is Diamond? I've been extremely busy working on a huge project that literally just takes up every single second of the day. I'm going to answer three questions that you guys wrote in and uh, let's just get started. Okay, how do you deal, number one, how do you deal with criticism? Um, I just pretty much tell people to fuck off. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, criticism can be tough, uh, particularly if it's coming from someone that you love or um, you, you, know, you really respect their opinion, like a good friend. So I would ask myself first and foremost, you know, uh, is there some merit to what this person is saying? Is, is some of it true? You know, and if it is, then you have to check yourself. You have to say, well, maybe I need to work on that. Um, but I think what I always do if I'm being criticized is I, the first thing that I do is I consider the source. You know, does this person have any ulterior motives? Are they trying to attack me? Is this a personal thing? Or are they really trying to help me become a better person? I really do stop and think, okay, you know, maybe this person is right. Um, and if they're not and, they, you know, you feel like they're just trying to attack you, then that's when you just tell them to fuck off. All right, so number two, I've been told I am materialistic. I don't think I am. Just because I like the finer things in life, why does that make me materialistic? Well, I would say that, first of all, you, I don't think a person is materialistic because they like the finer things in life. I mean, come on, that's just a crock of crap if you ask me. I think perhaps in this particular scenario, you just need to work on being a little bit less apologetic about it. So if someone is saying that you're materialistic, um, you know, then you just, you know, God, I just want to tell them to fuck off too. Uh, no, but just say, uh, look, you know, I like the finer things in life and that's just who I am and you know if you don't like it then you know mind your damn business I don't know that's what I would have to say about that and the third question that was submitted was I've been dating a while now and can't seem to find the right person for me I feel so discouraged what advice can you give me um, I read something recently that said if you're looking for the love of your life and you haven't found him or her stop stop um do the things that you love instead and that person will find you well i believe i buy into that but i would also like to add on to that and say that you know sometimes your focus if, you know if if you want something so badly in your life and it's just not coming to you right now no matter how hard you try no matter what you do it's just not going your way you know, that might sort of be a little sign that maybe you're focused on the wrong thing at the wrong time in your life. Okay, so my suggestion would be to stop focusing on your dating life. You know, focus on some other area of your life like perhaps, uh, you know, your business or your family or travel or just reading, you know, and, and, and uh, educating yourself and um, and growing as a person. Ultimately, uh, things will fall in place. They just do. I you know uh, Bethany Frankel once said that, you know, you can have it all, just not all at the same time. And then I really believe that. So, you know, if things are not going your way right now, no matter what you're doing, then just, you know, simply pause, put on the brakes, focus on another area of your life, and that area will somehow work itself out. Oh, I know what the other saying is that I recently read. It said, find peace in your life and all the other areas of your life will fall into place. Ah, that just resonated with me. So, you know, I would say find peace in your life, you know, make peace in your life and don't focus so much on the dating part of it and the rest of it will eventually fall into place. Well, guys, that's it for today's segment of Ask Diamond. Again, I apologize for being MIA for a while, but I really have missed you guys and I've missed my blog. And um, please do uh, submit some questions. If you thought these questions were good or you have some better ones, submit them. You know, just uh, type them in, email them to me, or just put them in the comment section below. And uh, I will definitely answer them no matter what they are. No matter how crazy they are, I will answer them. And that's it. Please be sure to check out my blog at 
diamondleone.com. I almost forgot it. It's been so long. That's hilarious. No, I'm just kidding. I know my blog. It's my name diamondleone.com. Check it out for some great fashion advice and some uplifting inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you back here next Monday. I promise.